This method can help improve large-scale and high-resolution characterization of protein isoforms and protein post-translational modifications in cells. The main advantage of this technique is that capillary zone electrophoresis mass spectrometry offers highly efficient separation and highly sensitive detection of intact proteins. To pre-treat the capillary, dry it with nitrogen gas at 10 psi for at least 12 hours. Then, fill the capillary with 50% volume-by-volume 3-trimethoxycyllylpropyl methacrylate in methanol using a syringe pump. Seal both ends of the capillary with silica rubber. After incubating at room temperature for at least 24 hours, continue with the linear polyacrylamide coating on the inner wall of the separation capillary, as described in the text protocol. Burn a portion of the capillary using a gentle flame to remove the polyimide outer coating around 4 cm away from one end of the capillary. Gently clean the burnt portion of the capillary by wiping to remove the polyimide coating completely. Drill a small hole at the end of a 200 microliter tube around the same size as the capillary outer diameter to sufficiently hold the capillary in place once it is threaded through this hole. Thread the end of the capillary that is close to the burnt portion through the hole until the burnt portion is in the tube. Then, add approximately 150 microliters of HF to the 200 microliter tube so that the HF solution is about halfway up the burnt portion on the capillary. Incubate the capillary in the HF solution at room temperature for 90 to 100 minutes. Prepare the standard protein mixture and the E. coli sample as described.